Congratulations, I see you have won an award. What have you won this evening? We won this amazing award called the Festival Golden Reel Award, short live action for Priya that I produced and he, he's an actor in it. Nice. Well, congratulations, that's very exciting. How do you feel? Incredible. I mean, like being in this festival means a lot um, to myself as an Asian American, the director who's also Indonesian American, the cinematographer is Korean American. Um, but yeah, it's it's a huge honor because I think it's the first time they're doing this award that will make our short qualify for the Oscars. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a big deal. That's really really exciting. We're really humbled to be here. Yeah. And I think just to to come to a festival and witness such talent. Um, being given a voice in the, the Asian Pacific Film Festival is just, it's amazing to be a small part of that. What drew you to this project? Uh, I was contacted through a friend of mine who said that she had read this script and they were looking for somebody to play this role. It was Christmas time. I had left LA to go back home uh, to Dublin where I'm from and I said send it through and I'll read it. I read it and I was just immediately drawn to it. It was very subtle, uh, sparse script that um, allowed a lot of room for visuals and um, subtext to really fester um, and that is uh, a lot of the filmmaking that I'm drawn to and as an actor I like to kind of you know divulge in that and explore the inner world and allow that to come through on screen and then also it's an LGBTQ film which I think it needs uh, particularly set in Indonesia um, in rural Indonesia I think that needs um, uh, definitely to be shown and, and given a voice um, and then the amazing filmmakers that are Valerie Martinez and Yudo Aditya and then also Shirley and Tumpal in Indonesia who are a part of the production okay. over there which were just uh, an inspiration. So. And what prompted you to make this film? What inspired you? Well it started from the idea of really just finding a story that I really connected with. Um, it's really a story about identity and kind of being stuck between like the, the traditions of like the Eastern culture and like your idealization, your romanticism of the Western culture. So it's really a really good mix of, I think, in the story uh, where those two worlds kind of collide. And really, um, with Yudo, he really made it personal when um, he made it into an LGBT film, which is a more underrepresented um, subject that's um, a story that really needs to be told. So I think the combination of that, of our passion for the story, really wanted was what prompted us to like really want to make this film, even if it's it's kind of risky because. Um, um, you know, it's not commonly accepted in certain parts of Indonesia. It was a little, it was still considered taboo. Like people are still being persecuted for being LGBT in Indonesia. And, um, you know, a lot of parts are very accepting and are definitely our co-production partners were really, really like our champions of like making sure that the, the team was safe and were, were in good hands uh, in the production. So uh, Bobby Buta Film, our production partners was, were a really huge um, part of making the film a success. And uh, briefly, what is the film about? Um, it's about a boy who is struggling. He's in an arranged marriage. So he's struggling between the traditions of his upbringing, um, his loyalty to his family, um, but also like his, you know, his personal sense of self, of wanting to express himself, um, his sexual awakening, um, his uh, feelings that he's been harboring for his for his teacher who happens to be like a Western uh, Peace Corps um, foreigner basically and um, you know in in the act of desperation he goes and he for one night at least before his marriage he goes and does what he wants so he has a little moment of freedom there yeah nice. now what do you hope people take away from your film um, I think Valerie touched on her speech tonight, uh, um, you know, in uh, a growing climate of uncertainty uh, today. Uh, I think to the idea of unity and the idea that, you know, although we, everyone is other except themselves, you know, and this idea that some people, uh, uh, we're all the same ultimately and how we express ourselves isn't um, a vantage point to discriminate or make people feel bad about themselves and um, everyone no matter their skin color orientation gender whatever it may be um, that ultimately underneath all of that charade we are human and 
the same. So I think that was watching the film. I would hope that people f felt empathy towards something that maybe they hadn't seen before, or a character that they were they hadn't encountered, and could get into their skin and relate to them and understand more about themselves and that person. Yeah, and making the film itself was really a journey, even for us as filmmakers, to really explore and like see what's out there, like see what other stories are there that are not necessarily being given a voice, and really championing those type of diverse stories. Um, so yeah, we, we hopefully we could make more of these type of movies that and bring them to a wider audience. Well, congratulations, and hopefully you can, because now you're award winning. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.